All right, man. Jamal Charlo calls out David. I mean, Dimitri Bivol. Um, he, you know, says he's bigger than him and all that. But hold on. Hold on. Fair use. Fair use for educational purposes. Here we go. Hold on. Okay. Well, find me. Well, find me. Like, you got the belt. You know, he said 160. Like, 160. No, no. 68. You have belt? I don't have. No, no. I don't know. No, you have no belt. Little American man. But uh, he bigger than people, though. You know? You weren't the biggest dude. But uh, take your ass up to 75. He got the belt. He said, you get the belt. They fight Torlo. No problem. I do him like I did Canelo. Hey, fuck his punk ass up. <laughs> you know, shit. That shit crazy. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Man, we just saw Regis. He did a second belt at 140 pounds. How, how do you think about his performance? I thought Regis. Hey, fight against Zerdo. So you're back. Uh, Were you impressed by his fight against Zerdo Ramirez? No, I was impressed by it. And I was impressed by the Canelo fight. Yeah. I'm impressed by the dude, period. Yeah. So the, big, the biggest challenge, if that's one of the biggest challenges, I'm down. Yeah. Should I go to 68? What do you make of all the talk from uh, Jose Benavides and David Benavides about the about, potential fight and all that? Yeah. Um, they just talk. Yeah. Yeah. They just talk. Who you got? Who you got in uh, Benavides and Plant? Um. Shit, Plant. I might. I might go with Plant. And at the same time, are you interested in that belt to get the winner of that fight? Yeah. Hopefully, I get the winner. But you know what? Hey, it is what it is. Boxing is gonna take its toll. If they want to see me, they're gonna see me. Uh, How do you see that fight ending? You, you and either one. How do you see that fight ending? With me? Yeah. I'm knocking everybody the fuck out. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I, Miguel don't want no smoke. You would have been for me. Y'all acting like y'all promoters. I'm not a promoter. I'm a fighter. I I, I do the fighting, all right? If they want to fight me, they're going to make it happen. That's all I can do. Everybody want to fight the best, the champ. You know what I'm saying? I'm the champ. So everybody going to want to fight the champ. It's okay. Y'all don't take it too personal. You know, all right, basically, he's saying I ain't really tripping off that shit, nigga. You know, I just fight. That's what he's saying. You know, you got to go through Al. And if you get through Al, you know what I'm saying? Then we can fight. You know? Um, and that's what it was. And that's exactly what it was. And that's exactly what it was. So, um, you know, when him and B were actually fighting, no. Nah. Why would the champ come down to 68 to fight you? I mean, you ain't Canelo. You ain't you ain't Anthony Joshua. You ain't Deontay Wilder. You ain't no big name in the sport. And he tried to get him to come down to 60, like you the A-side. He probably make a good payday with, with Charlo, though. You know, he said he was impressed by Dimitri Bibble. He gave him props, and, you know, he going to get in the ring with him. So. At the end of the day, um, they got to be respected. Um, so, yeah, you got to respect that. 
But what they fight, probably not. He ain't a promoter, but he ran up on beef. Well, absolutely, he's going to fight. Knowing that Al Heyman got to sign off on that. Knowing that Al got to sign off on that. You know, and he, he, you know, they're about the same size. You know, Charlo might be a little bit thicker. You know, like he too far, you know, on weight. Uh, what I was seeing in the interviews. Um, so, you know, you be keeping them Charlo boys stay in shape in between fighting. That'd be, it'd be a good fight. I favor b um, You know, you know, B-Wool strong, but also, you know, he ain't too heavy neither. Um, so, so that's something to think about too. You know, So, but, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, you know, what will it happen? I would side on the caution to know, but if you know, some of these fights that they talking about happen, box are really picking up, you know, from what it lacked this year. They started, they kind of the middle of the year, you know, kind of that May area, you know, March looked promising, some injuries fell out. We had a hot streak of fights and then came to the fall, but really wanted nothing to be, be made. You know what I'm saying? Or nothing to be made. So, you know, maybe they pick it up next year and, you know, the TV network's putting their foot down. But it's definitely a fight that, um, you know, it's definitely a fight that, you know, everybody would be interested in. Definitely. So, um, so yeah, why not? You know, but will it happen? No, you know, can he hang in there with him? He can hang for it. I don't like Charlo got a good chin too, so he definitely hang in there. I remember he said he go to seventy five and fight better be if he said that. You know, he said he'd be returning in February. You know, January, February. He said it'd probably be more like February. So, um, you know, so we gotta find, we gotta wait and see, but. We'll hold my breath on that fight. You know, Bebo got a still a lot to do in that division. You know, if it's rematching Canelo, fighting better BF, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, maybe got on 68 and look for, you know, some big some fights. They sparred with uh, uh, Benavidez before. So, I mean, you know, he living life. He living life. But, you know, even Charlo was a fight that, you know, really wasn't on nobody radar. But, you know what? We'll take it. I ain't gonna complain about it. We can take it, but I think Beaver will be a big favorite. You know, Charlo ain't fought. You know, last time people saw him a couple years ago against uh, what's her buddy name, Montiel, and you know, people wasn't satisfied with that performance. So, you know, might be ready for him, time for him to move up and wait and all that type of stuff. But uh, but yeah, you know, he put up on Beaver. Like, you want the fight? You want the fight? Beaver just looking like man, you know, get the fight though. We'll wait, we'll wait, you know what I'm saying? I don't really think he wanted to smoke, but, you know, he said we trying to be promoters and we worried about, you know, stuff to reporters and the bloggers. That's outside of our scope of supporters shit, but nigga, there you go trying to play promoter running up on Beaver. The hypocrisy, though. The hypocrisy. But, uh, you know, but, like I said before, it's an interesting fight, you know. But I think B will get it done, and I don't think B will knock him out. Which they, you know, if he was a little bit more aggressive, he'd have more knockouts. But that's not really his, uh, you know, that's not really you know his style. You know, that's not really you know what he do. So. Um, but you know, I think if you know, you I think if you really push him, I think you know uh, it could happen. So, um, but you know, other than that, it is what it is. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app dollar sign CJ three one three. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. 
Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Link tree, the first link in the description. You, um, yeah, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.